Hi, I'm Anna Cristina, singer for Zepparella, and this video is going to cover everything about my vocals on When the Levy Breaks. If it keeps on raining, the gonna break. When the levy breaks, I have no place to stay. And first of all, if you haven't warmed up, I, and, and I recommend that all singers find a teacher and find warm-ups that work for them. Uh, I, I warm up before I sing all the time, but just make sure you're warmed up before you start to approach any type of singing. So we're going to start with When the Levee Breaks and how I begin to learn a song and then how I sing it. So of course you start by listening to it, and you listen to it and then you have to know the lyrics, and we all know that uh, the lyrics of Zeppelin can be a little hard to make out sometimes. They're gorgeous and beautifully written, but sometimes hard to make out. So I uh, go on to Google, of course, and Google the lyrics, just the song and lyrics, and I don't trust just one website. If you're in doubt at all, cross-reference on uh, several different websites. And there's some that, that go more towards Zeppelin. There's some just find, just cross-reference. Make sure you're going to, and if there's some discrepancies that you, can't get a, that you can't get anybody to agree on, then I'll go to YouTube and try to find some live stuff with Plant singing that song and see if I can decipher what he's saying. So those are the, the ways I try to get to the lyrics. The next thing I do when I start learning any melody, and this is relatively, I didn't always do this, and boy did I notice the difference when I started to do it, is I'm going to use, if any of you have seen my prior videos, whether it's harmonica or vocals, I have a partner in crime and that's called the keyboard. At home I have an actual keyboard, but when I'm on the road I use my phone for this app. My phone or my iPad for this app. So here's a piano, and what I do when I'm first learning a song is I s tap out the melody. I listen to the melody and I find out where it is on the keyboard. So I'm not going to do the whole song today, but for example, the first notes of When the Levee Breaks. What are those notes? I'll see if I can tune my voice up to it. it when the Levee Breaks is in the key of F and he starts on the root. If it keeps on, if it keeps on raining, that's an A flat. If it keeps on raining, levee's gonna break. And it's really, it sounds really dorky, it doesn't sound hip, it doesn't sound cool right now, but that's because you're just really trying to strip it down and find that center of the pitch. What's the center of the pitch? If it keeps on, and then you can start playing around with it, because we know plant bends stuff all over the place, and it's why it's part of the many things that makes him so expressive. But at first, you want to grow out from knowing what the center of the pitch is first. If it keeps on raining, then levee's gonna break. Go through the whole song that way, and, and it'll, it'll really help you. So that's what I do. And then I begin to try to make it my own. One of the many things I love about being able to sing Plant's stuff, sing Zeppelin's stuff, is he is so expressive. He has so many different ways to express his voice. He's percussive. He's got so much rhythm, and that has always that has always been a part of me naturally. Even back when I was singing jazz, it's all about the, I really, really f uh, feed off the drums and what rhythm is going on. So after I found my my melody, if it keeps on raining, I find where does it resonate in my voice? Where does it feel good in my voice? And you can affect your voice. And a lot of people do that, you know. Uh, and it's a choice. It's all a choice. I'm not making a judgment here. I prefer to lean toward a more organic, natural sound that sounds like when I speak. So I don't do speech level singing. That's not. That's a whole series of exercises and a whole world of its own. It's great, but that's not what I do. I just I have my own system. But when I approach a song, I think like I'm speaking it. I think like it's an extension of me talking to you. If it keeps on ringing, it's like I'm saying it to you right now. And always think about singing to somebody. It keeps you out of your own head. So I'm telling a story. If it keeps on raining, and because I tapped it out, I heard that he went, nah, nah, nah. if it keeps on raining, love is gonna break. And it makes it more believable. It, 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 it makes the song reach people, because ultimately, the reason I love to sing and I love to perform is connection. You're connecting, you're having this amazing moment with the crowd or with whoever you're singing to of this emotional story connection. So the first part of Levy is uh, all in that low area. And one other thing about the very beginning of Levy, which is uh, something that I worked out with the lovely Gretchen Men, who plays guitar in Zepparella, we were trying to figure out how do we work out this four beat measure of a rest, this four beat rest, this measure rest that happens between the harmonica solo and when the vocals come in. 
and you've sort of got this, we all have to be feeling this internal, uh, and it's really slow, so you can't rush it. Uh, 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 and I'm the pickup to the one, if it keeps on raining. So Gretchen and I worked out that she would watch Clem, who had the, Clem is our drummer, who has the rhythm in her body, and Gretchen would watch her while tapping her foot to the rhythm that she was watching Clem exhibit. And I would, I would watch Gretchen's foot. So if I'm facing the stage right here, I, I kind of <laughs> cheat to look right here. And out of my periphery, I don't look at Gretchen's foot. That would be ridiculous. So I don't do that. But I subtly move where I can see Gretchen's foot in my peripheral vision. <laughs> And I just kind of watch it, and then I know where we are, and then I come in on the pickup. Two, three, if it keeps on raining. That's how we work that out. And it's tricky. Little moments like that in Zeppelin, they're all over the place. They're trickier than you think. So that's the first part of Levy, and that's where it sits in my voice, which I love. And then as the song progresses, we start to get, um, one other thing I'll say about Plant is that he's very He's very progressive, he's very expressive, and his voice changes depending where he is, too. He, he does such a wide range. So, it's going to make you feel bad when you try to find your way home. Now, I'm not as gritty as Plant is, and my voice is naturally what it is. I can get some grit, and I get some grit in my performances, but I'm not nearly as gritty as he is all the time, but I try to get grit right in that area. And that's where I'm just pushing the voice a little farther out, you know, and, 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 and Again, to think about you're speaking it, you're not changing your voice, you're not changing the way it sounds, but you're, it's like controlled yelling. That's what a lot of, some people call singing, the higher notes, controlled yelling. Well, don't it make you feel bad when you try to find your way home? You don't know which way to go. I'm saying it, but I'm saying it in melody. And Plant sings, really sings like that, and that's very different from well, don't it make you feel bad? Which is not bad, but it's not appropriate for Zeppelin. And that leads me to one other thing I want to say about singing, and that is vibrato. While you're finding your resonance chambers and where it all sit, sits for you, and you're paying attention to your low breath, especially in that, well, don't it make you feel bad? That's here and here. And I always think out. I don't think up for high notes, I think out. Don't it make you feel bad when you try to find your way home? So the last thing is about, about, about vibrato, okay? Vibrato is a condiment or a spice. It is not a main dish. And it, it especially in Zeppelin. Uh, so when you use vibrato, be very, very particular, deliberate, and tasteful when you're using it. Uh, if it's an opera song, that's something totally different, but we're looking at Zeppelin. And so the straight tones are the ones that are gonna, gonna cut and the ones you want. So if you hear me use vibrato, like I do a lot of notes that I just hold with no vibrato at all. And it's hard, it requires a lot of, a lot of support. But there's no vibrato in there. Like on uh, the note of uh, the Lemon Song. Babe! Babe! I just hold that out without vibrato. And it's, it's all about this. But if you use vibrato, it feels that. Right at the end. It's a great little tail. Oh, right at the end. But for Zeppelin, try to, try to rein in that vibrato through most of, for, for, for most of the stuff and sing it straight. So those, those, are my, those are the things I think about when singing the levy. Be truthful, make it your own voice, use your support, be tasteful with the vibrato, and uh, sing to somebody. And there's one other tool I use for learning, which has been really helpful for me. And once again, that's with all the great apps you have now. I, I use a, a voice recorder app to record myself while singing the song to a karaoke version that I bring up on my computer. And it's, you know, karaoke is whatever, but it will get you to be able to hear it. And then I turn my voice app on on my phone and I record myself singing with the song to karaoke. And then I listen back and I hear where the tone is not what I want or where my phrasing is off from plants or oh, you, you, you can hear it so much better once you've recorded yourself. So I highly recommend trying that. The other thing that singing to, recording yourself while singing to the karaoke version does is it gets you in the mindset of you have to know where you are, you have to count the song, 
you have to be really confident, steady, and sturdy in, in the melody, in the lyrics, in the timing, in the phrasing, and all that will come up when you start to record yourself. And what I also do sometimes while recording myself is I visualize being on stage. Don't look in the mirror and watch yourself sing. Look outside or look somewhere and think of singing and think of the audience there and put your head there and it'll change you. You'll see where your, your, your weak spots are, where you're forgetting lyrics or where your phrasing is off or whatever. But the visualization is so helpful. Visualize yourself on stage. Visualize it. Visualize yourself. You're singing while all these people are watching you. So now for when you're no longer visualizing but you actually are on stage singing, there's a lot of things to manage. With Zeppelin and with Zeparella, it's an incredibly loud band. Uh, surviving as a vocalist has been a, its own little separate dance for me. And thank God the bandmates are just wonderful people and they all try to work with me on it. I've used in-ears before, inner monitors, which work for some. For me, I need to feel the band. I really need to feel what they're doing. On top of that, I have my floor wedges where they're hitting me at the most effective place. And this is really crucial. This was, this was really great when I figured this out. It's not necessarily great if your monitors are too loud because you can hear so much of yourself that you lose the context that you're in. Some of my rockier performances have been, when I look back on it, it's like my monitor was too loud. It was too loud. It was too much of me. I needed to hear Gretchen on the guitar. I needed to hear the bass more. I needed to feel the drums. I really respond to w what the whole band is doing musically. So for me, I got to make sure that my, my, my vocals are sitting in that sweet spot. I also, it's really important to just befriend your sound person. They're there to help you. You just make, make friends with your sound person. And I always talk to them about the effects that I want on my vocals because in Zeppelin there's delays and reverbs all up in that grill. So you want that, I want that on my voice. If you leave me dry, it's like the worst gig ever for me, worst show ever. And uh, I'm always watching for feedback. I always have to get my vocal to a place where it's going to survive in the band, but it's not too loud. And it's, it's always a dance. And you, I will work that out with the sound person in the sound check best we can. And then sometimes you have, when show hits, you have to you fid fiddle with it a little bit, but it's always something you're going to have to look out for. And it's your responsibility, too, as a vocalist. Don't point your microphone at the, <laughs> at the monitor. You know, be more conscious of where that, monitor need, where that microphone needs to be placed. And some people do cup it, and cup, cup it, and it's dangerous. Sometimes that'll ca cause, rever or cause feedback, excuse me. But that's, those are the things you've got to look out for when you're performing live. And then when that's all, when that's all happening, when you're hearing, your, make sure you're hearing yourself the way you want to hear yourself. It's extremely important. Don't be shy and be like, it's fine. No, they want to help you. Get it right for yourself. And then your performance will be so much better. And then the, the audience will be, everybody will be happier. So make sure you take care of yourself in, 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 your, in your sound situation. And I guess the last thing I'll say is how much I love when the levee breaks. I sincerely love Zeppelin songs. I'm very happy to be able to sing so many of them. It's a very blessed place to be. The Levee has got this kind of chilling place for me um, because it's so much, it's just a cry. It's a cry for I'm going down and who hasn't felt that? And it's just a cry, it's almost a cry for help. It's a cry for resignation. It's a cry of surrender to that moment. and. There have been several times on stage when we get to that last part, when the whole band is just on, on the rails, and the words are, I'm going down. I'm going down. I'm going down now. I'm going down. I'm going down now. My head, I've gotten chills so many times at that part, thinking about things beyond myself happening in the in the globe right now of anybody who might be experiencing that for real and that song is timeless to me for its cry to those kind of moments and its humanity so